Belfast Live. Please welcome Kevin Bridges. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, good, off. good evening. Welcome along to Edinburgh Comedy Fest Live. There we are. It's exciting. Edinburgh, Edin Edin Edinburgh, I discovered it's called. <laughs> this summer in a Spanish airport, Edinburgh. I love watching the hysteria at the Edinburgh departure gate. Edinburgh, where's that about? Yeah. <laughs> David, let me see the boarding passes. David, Edinburgh, is this the right terminal? <laughs> I don't even know if that's the accent. We're here, anyway, we're making a show. I feel that excitement. No, I'm, I'm 27. I'm no longer a youth. I've got mates who are getting married, having kids. I'm thinking about it. You never know. I live in a nice part of Glasgow these days, though. So I've, uh, I, live in a, I live in a leafy suburb. So if I have children, they'll be pricks. So I've kept my tennis. That's what's going to happen. I'm going to raise pricks. <laughs> my own son. He'll be that wee guy walking down with his purple blazer, carrying a violin case, just tuned to the moon. <laughs> He's going to grow up on a different planet from me. <laughs> I don't know how I'll handle that. I think it'll be tough to take my own son going, Dad, uh, Dad, this iPad isn't performing the software update. Uh, can, we, <laughs> can we book an appointment with a genius this Saturday and have this resolved once and for all? <laughs> Shut the f up, you wee too. That's the kind of father I'll be. You can go upstairs, find my golf club, go outside and chop some jaggy nettles. How's that sound? <laughs> That's a Saturday afternoon. We're speaking to no genius. You go out there, chop some jaggies, get to know yourself. <laughs> Embrace the boredom, decapitate a few dandelions. <laughs> That's that, young people. They don't know how to be bored anymore. Bo boredom's dying. They're just too busy checking Facebook. Just. Well, that, that hollow sadness that hits you when you're spending too much time on Facebook, just realising how much you hate your own aunties and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> T-Mobile are actually so frustrating. Auntie Janice, I despise you. <laughs> <laughs> I preferred the relationship pre-Facebook. See, once, birthday, Christmas, that, twice a year. Great auntie, loved it. Just don't like your opinions and stuff. <laughs> I used to get bored when I was young. I used to sit and record myself singing on a cassette player. Remember the days? <laughs> Hitting play and record at the same time, singing mid-90s pop songs. That was me. Yes, baby, if you've got to go away. <laughs> <laughs> Don't think I can take the pain. Won't you stay another day, stay now? <laughs> I was bored them, and it created something beautiful. I tried to start a boy band based on that. On that single that I released to myself. Played it back. <laughs> that was that, Element 4. That's what they were called. I gave me and my mates, because I was bored. I gave me and my mates aliases. Earth, wind, rain, fire. That was us. <laughs> I was wind, they laughed at me. That's that, I thought, I thought I'm going solo. Big wind. <laughs> it's exciting times in Scotland. Everything's happening, isn't it? Uh, I don't mind. That's just something people say, isn't it? It's a real, real, real feel-good factor about Scotland right now because we had the Commonwealth Games and that we're hosting the European Music Awards in Glasgow. That'll be good. Music fans, yep. guy in the front row, what you into? Jethro Tull. What? Who? <laughs> Jethro Tull. That's the genre of music you like. <laughs> Get a camera right on it and expose that man. Get him the guy. Was, was Jeff Rotol's biggest hit? Uh, living in the past. Living in the past. <laughs> I take it that's a song that speaks to you, sir. <laughs> no. You need to get into Element 4, into the new bands. One Direction, boy bands. Any Directioners in? Any 1D fans? <laughs> yeah, everybody loves them. Danced all night to the best song ever. <laughs> <laughs> crazy, crazy, crazy. Until we see the sun. Every pop song these days is singing about that. Until we see the sun. Oh, until six in the morning. We're going to party on down. <laughs> until six in the morning. Singing about parties that have got scheduled end times. <laughs> Ever try to get a bunch of your pals to leave your house at six in the morning? <laughs> Mayhem, I didn't show he's what I call it a night. You hear that? What man, the shop's open and we'll get cans. <laughs> 
only six in the morning. <laughs> Some guy walking about your living room steaming, looking for a Nokia charger. That's what happens at six in the morning. <laughs> Just so he can continue an argument with his missus. I told you I was having a mad one. <laughs> That's the only justification for having a mad one. He told her he was having a mad one. <laughs> I thought you were going to your mods to watch Strictly anyway. <laughs> it's six o'clock in the morning, Ryan. How do I know what time Strictly finishes? <laughs> <laughs> Highlights of the game, a game of FIFA that was played about three hours ago, still playing on the telly. He's looking up thinking it's Sky Sports. Eh? <laughs> when the dogs there beat Brazil? <laughs> oh, him after the game, Foxy. <laughs> what's, what's your name, sir? Where are you from, Ian? You live in Edinburgh now. So, where are you from, Ian? <laughs> <laughs> You're from Belfast. I love the accent, though. You make me sound like Michael Bublé over there. <laughs> <laughs> There's a bomb in the biscuit tun. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's the way they sound. No, it's calmed a wee bit, innit? It? It's the troubles. It's calmed. Golf, that's the thing, innit? Rory McIlroy, Darren Clark, Graham McDowell. They've ditched the guns and bought golf clubs. It's good to see. <laughs> Still chucking the odd petrol bomb, but I'll shout in four. I'll <laughs> <laughs> give, give each other a bit of feedback on the swing. What you got? Just bend your knees, just shoulders square on. Visualize that. Get the police station in your sights there. Just uh... start. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're excited. We're having our independence referendum up here. That's. <laughs> Everybody's talking about it. Whatever happens in September, I reckon the whole, the whole country could go and reset their higher modern studies. There's people <laughs> who are clued up. We should have it every four years. Just keep having referendums. That's what will get Scottish people through a World Cup. Just a referendum. <laughs> Something to talk about. And then the year England win it, that's when they go independent. That's the way. That's the feeling. Now, that's when you see debates. Six in the morning in house parties. <laughs> I see Alistair Darling and Alex Salmond on a podium on the telly. House party, that's when you get guys lighting a fag off a toaster, giving their top and stuff. <laughs> see if we vote no, mate. We are like, we are like Rihanna getting back with Chris Brown, mate. That's us. <laughs> that's the kind of stuff Alex Salmond needs to say. He really captured the mood in the nation on that leadership debate. Just start calling him a shite bag and stuff. No. <laughs> What about the economic risks? What about them? Bacarrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr